the epitome of an American rock band. Success did not come easy for the quartet, however. The road is a long one, and tonight we will show you just what it takes to make a hit band. How, how did it all start? Well, it started out with me sitting in my room writing these beautiful songs, and then I met this guy right here at school, and uh, back then he wasn't such an ass, and we... we... What, what was your uh, first gig? Where was that at? First gig? I don't know, it was, it was pretty fun. I think I think James is a good guy and he organizes a good party. I was a little worried about the weather, you know, but that's that's something that, you know, we would have dealt with anyway. If it was if it was raining on us, thunder and lightning, we would have been out there anyway. It wasn't our equipment that would have been screwed up. So. We weren't really all that nervous. We had it all down, we had our set down, we were ready for it. It's pretty obvious that everybody who was there was there strictly to see us because nobody cares about those, you know, poppy punk bands. Let's face it, they've got no talent and everybody knows. That. And that's how we became the four miles, basically in a summed up way. Ow! The tensions in a band are are normal for a band. You wanna play guitar for my band? <laughs> and I was like, no, I got a band! Um, they'll pass with our fame, and uh, I don't think it's much to worry about. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, the guitar, for one second, the man talk. I just, I, I want to focus on the music and, and focus on becoming a breakthrough artist. Practice on your own time, okay? When we're all together, we get business done. You practice when you... You're at home. You know, I've always had a difficult time, you know, communicating to each other. So I have a vast musical, you know, vast. experience to my credit. Yeah, I got much more than you got. I don't know, there's just something really strange about it. We can't be in the same room at the same time. It's just so awkward. I can, he can be sitting, like, right next to me here, and... Can I get you a glass of water? What are you doing that, don't you? Oh, yeah. What was that all about? <sighs> Just it's too much. It's too much. As in the band have a beef with, you know, my talents. And, you know, I just like them to know that they ain't seen nothing yet. I mean, if you haven't seen my skills with the sock puppet, you haven't seen anything yet. Oh, look at me. My name is Richard Sparrow, and I'm a big documentary filmmaker, and I'm exploiting bands left and right. Oh, I'm so cool. Look at me. I'm a media shark. Ah! I just want to be his friend. And I, I, he's a bass player. And I'm a drummer. I want to be able to play with him. And, uh, it's my card, he always said. I don't understand. <laughs> Man, after, after I found out, you know, the way No feels about what's going on between us, I mean, it just totally changed my perspective because, you know, it gets me all emotional because I really want to be his friend and I'm, I'm just so sorry for anything I've ever said to him about his race or his abilities, and, I don't know, man, just Yeah. I think Sam knows who the man is now. I mean, Fireman Carey, vertical, bam! I got him, I got him. I think he knows who the big man is now in the band.